Today I will be giving you five books that I think everyone in their 30s should read. Like actually go and read them. I figured you know five is a doable number. Like imagine if I came on here and I was like, hey guys, here are 30 books that you need to read. No, I wouldn't do that to you guys. Make sure you stay until the end to hear about my absolute favorite book, the one book to rule them all. So even though this is aimed at people in their 30s, if you're a little bit younger, but you're trying to get a head start, great, really happy to have you here. And if you're older than Club 30, that's no problem. These books are going to apply to you too. TLDR, everyone should read these books. So all of these books are going to be physical books, but they're also going to come in Kindle edition as well as Audible. I think with the exception of one book that I don't think is on Audible. And to make it easy for you guys, I have put all the links down below for every book and all the different versions. And if you'd like to support myself and this channel, then clicking on those affiliate links is a fantastic way to do so. And just a quick side note, the reason why I write Audible so much is because it really is a tool that has changed my life. I have neurological issues and so I get double vision a lot, which obviously means that it, sometimes it's very hard to actually read. And Audible has been a game changer and a lifesaver for me. It's also great for those of us who enjoy multitasking. Like I find it very hard just to sit down and read an actual book. I'd rather listen while I'm cleaning or gaming. And also if I'm having to lie down and close my eyes, I can still have an Audible book on. If you'd like to try Audible for free and fall in love with it yourself, then I have a special link down below for you for a free trial. Book number one, Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before by Dr. Julie Smith. Now I have mentioned this book before in a previous video, but the reason why I'm mentioning it again is simply because the book is that good. I really feel in your 30s or even just before you hit the big 3-0, you do start to mentally and emotionally unclutter. And I think we start to process things that have happened to us in our teens and in our 20s. Some of us even have to come to terms with trauma, abuse, and loss. I think depression is a massive issue in our age group. Like I know for me, I probably felt depression the strongest in this age because the absolute pressure of being in your 30s is so intense and I think it's kind of cruel, especially if you are single. And you know, this is why I'm such a huge advocate of therapy and counseling in your 30s. Not only does it, oh my gosh, it helps so much with self-awareness, which I think we all know on this channel how much I love self-awareness, but therapy is a fantastic way to unpack things that have happened in our lives, either things that have been done to us, choices that we've made or things that have been completely beyond our control. This book really gives practical advice and practical tools in order to help you get through life's ups and downs. And this is all coming from a clinical psychologist. It's like having one in your room with you when you read the book, especially if you have it on Audible because she actually reads it. Now, I would just like to say that reading this book does not take the place of actually going to see a therapist yourself but it is a great first step if you're not quite there yet. I could not recommend this book enough. Book number two, Personality Plus. Now, this book, I'm gonna warn you, is almost as old as I am, but don't let that put you off because the principles in this book have probably had the biggest impact on my life from a secular book than anything else. Some of you would have heard of the Personality Profiling System DISC, D-I-S-C, by Robert A. Rom. My dad actually used to be a certified trainer for them, and he taught me from a very young age, I think like 12, the principles of DISC. Now, this personally started me on my own self-awareness journey, and it really made me fall in love very early on with personal development. I feel like Personality Plus uses a very similar system to the DISC profiles, but they kind of use slightly different labels. I feel like Personality Plus is a little bit more of an easier read and I do think that the way they describe the different personalities is a lot more relatable but both are really good. I just think that this book is like the easier to talk to ant of disc. Now I have we have about four different types of personality plus books in this house. We have the normal one, we have the couples one, we have the work one uh, and there are I mean, there might be another one for singles, I'm not sure. If you're looking for a way to kickstart deeper self-awareness, but also learning how to coexist with other people, whether your husband or wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, people at work, people at school, friends, parents, whatever, then this book is a must read. TLDR, this book will literally change the lens that you not only see yourself in, but you see other people. I promise you, this book will change your life. Book number three, The Chimp Paradox. Now this book, this book is absolutely fantastic. It is gold and it's really easy to read. It's also really easy to listen to as well. I have this copy and I also have a copy on Audible as well. I actually came across Professor Steve Peters when I was watching Stephen Bartlett's uh, podcast, Diary of a CEO, which I am 
obsessed with. I also highly recommend you going to see that like episode, especially if you're not sure about the book because it is just incredible. It's mind blowing actually. Um, my mom also heard that same episode and I didn't realize it. And she literally straight away went and got that book. I actually haven't seen her so excited about a book in years and years and years, probably not since this. So that made me even more interested in reading it. Now this book is all about how your brain works and also managing your mind. It goes into depth on like emotions, logic, survival instincts, human impulses that we have, and just basically answers a lot of why questions, like why we act the way that we do, why we think the way we do, why we react in certain ways when certain things happen. Honestly, this book has probably been the best surprise of 2023. Now, as someone who learns visually, as well as through listening, I really love the hand-drawn like images. Now, you're probably gonna laugh at this. <laughs> So I love the hand-drawn images because it makes the concepts stick into my mind more and helps me to remember them a lot more easier. I even sometimes, don't call me a geek, I even sometimes have the audible version on while I'm reading this to get like a double like whammy. I honestly think that everyone, no matter your age, needs to read this. It is a fantastic book and, I, and I'm very, very sure that it will change your life in some way. The next book is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Now, this book I've heard about for quite a few years now. I believe it came out around 2010, but it was refreshed in 2020. It comes highly recommended and I can really see why. I love how it speaks to my entrepreneurial side, like my boss chick side, but it also offers really practical advice for life in general. What's also really great about this book is Darren Hardy presents a lot of different real life examples as well as clever and memorable like anecdotes. His compounding message really goes against the get rich quick like rhetoric, which I love like hearing that. And it shows what incredible results we can have when we bring consistency into our lives. This book really presents the value of hard work, but it also shows you how to work smarter. It truly is a wonderful read and a pleasure to listen to if you decide to get the audible version. Now here comes my favorite book. I have been a huge fan of Dr. Caroline Lee for many years, and I have definitely suggested some of her books before, like Switch on Your Brain, which is amazing. Now, this book has been a very recent find for me, and I have not been able to put it down. I feel like if you love the content on this channel, you know, the whole learning how to thrive and not just survive in life, then out of all the books, I think you need to read this one the most. I'm a bit of a nerd, in case you hadn't gathered that yet. But I really love scientific research and I love geeking out on things. Dr. Leaf writes in such a way that satisfies that part of me, but she also writes in a very, very easy to understand way as well. I think it's absolutely incredible how she can take the most complex thing of the human brain and everything going on in it and the most complicated scientific processes about our mind. I love how she can just make all of it super practical. Like I read this and I actually feel empowered to take control of my life like in a very profound way. And I think I feel this way because I'm learning how my brain actually works from a scientific point of view, which is actually ironically very similar to this book, which I think is also why I love this book so much too. I think you can probably see a bit of a theme to today's video. It's all about your mind and mindsets. Mindset matters, but before we can improve our mindsets, we gotta get to know why we think the way that we do and how we can harness our thoughts and our own uniqueness in order for us to thrive more in our lives, even when the unexpected gets thrown at us, which we all know it does at some point. I would love to hear about any books that you guys recommend, so make sure you put them down below. If you enjoy the content here and you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? We want you to be part of the family. If you'd like to go one step further, I have also created a Patreon, which I will put the link down below for those of you who are interested. Even if you are just giving your time to me today, that means the world and I appreciate it so much. Thank you.